Well, where we're living now is, um, well, it's a regional town, so it's, it's a lot of land, um, which is just something we thought we needed. And um, yeah, that's going to be very different to living in an apartment, I think. Yeah. But in saying that, though, it's a lot of land, but the, the space that we live inside the house is probably around the same now that I've actually seen the apartment. Yeah. Greenery everywhere. And I was even talking to someone downstairs and they, I, was, I told them, like, what better backyard than the city of Melbourne, really? Because there's, you can just get out and there's be like a million things you can do. You know, have a picnic by the river, have a picnic down there, there's a swimming pool. Um, yeah, like these are things that I, we never really considered, I guess, before. It's a backyard I don't have to maintain, so that's good. <laughs> it's going to be really exciting because, yeah, like, like I said, he comes to the city every day. And I, as a student, I worked in the city, but ever since I've become a stay-at-home mom, I, I rarely come here. And there's so many things I want to do, and I'm like, oh, I should go to the city. But then thinking of the commute to and fro, I'm just like, no. You know, I'll let it go, but I feel like this is the opportunity I can take to sort of, you know, get myself back into the things that I used to love. You know, just walking around the streets, um, the museums, the art, you know, just there's so many things that I like to do, which I've been sort of holding back on. So I think that's, I, I get to open up that little space for myself in this whole thing. It's actually an hour and a half each way. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I get, to, I get to come home that much sooner and um, spend that much more time at home rather than on the train. 